Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user asked me, hey, can you create a person? So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, so step one is to visit Tinkercad. I choose sign in with Google, and let's create new design. All right, friends, before we get going, let's click up here and let's type in the name people. And I'm going to put my initials so that we're keeping track of the people we're creating. Right, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite skills. Hold down shift on your keyboard and change the measurement to anything you want. And then I'm going to type 30. So it snaps to that size. That is one of my favorite tricks. This is fit view so we can zoom in and take a look. Notice he does not have a face. That's something we're gonna work on. Let's use that same technique to add a hand. When you bring the hand out, just set it down. Once again, we're gonna hold shift and shrink it. I'm gonna tell you a good number is around nine, eight or seven. Because I held shift when I shrunk it, it all moves at the same time. I'm gonna get it close to his arm with the arrow keys. Watch this, if you do control up, it lifts it up and you can connect it. So you hold control and tap the arrow key as you nudge it into place. Let's use the view cube to look at it from the side and make sure that's aligned the way we want. I think that looks pretty good. It does need to be rotated. So check this out. If you grab right on the little red arrow, you can rotate it to the exact angle you want. If you come way away from the shape, you can go one degree at a time. If you stay close, it uses those nifty little tick marks. I'm going to use the view cube to look around at the front. And I'm going to say that that hand looks nice. Right now, I am right-click dragging to rotate. I'm actually going to pull it forward one more click. And then if I wanted it smaller, I could hold shift and shrink it just a little bit more. That's pretty fun. I'm going to add the peace sign to this hand. I'm going to once again just bring it out, click let go, and set it down. I want to stand it up. Now this time I'm going to type a number. If we type 90, check it out. It is standing just the way we would want. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to shrink it. Remember we went down to about size 9 and press enter. And let's use the arrow keys to move that into place. This time I'm going to try the cone. So you just lift it straight up. If you ever make a mistake, you just use undo or control Z. Let's see if we really had it lined up by looking at it in a corner. I did not have it lined up. I'm going to use control up to raise it the last two clicks. And I'm going to right click drag and check out my awesome dude with hands now. So now friends, let's slide down and find some eyes. These are the cartoon eyes. I am not a tremendous fan of these because they look angry to me. And that's why we're gonna use my other eyes in a moment. But first let's use these. Once again, hold down shift and shrink them till you think they fit your face. And then I am going to move it back to the feet and do control up to move it up to the face. If you hold that, you can see it moves a bunch at a time and you can pull it out to where you want it. I'm going to use the sweet fit view command to zoom in and I like the way that's poking out. Notice I was right click dragging. You can also just click the corners to take a look at it. I'm going to zoom out to the whole view. Notice our dude is tiny, but that's all right because we're making many. Let's zoom in with the fit view, hold down shift and shrink it. And then I'm going to do control up to lift it up. Notice I had it pulled in too far, so now a couple control down. And see if I can get it lined up the same. Notice I made it a little larger. You could be cartoony like that. I'm going to shrink it down and get them so they're the same, though. There we are. So my dude now has a face. I like to give a mouth with the scribble command. So I'm going to hit work plane, and I'm going to click right on the flat part of his face. Let's go back to the basic shapes. Bring out the scribble, and then I'm going to make a little smiley mouth. It takes a little practice to get good at this. If you ever don't like what you did, you, did, you can do undo. You can also erase. I like what I did, so I'm not going to. When you're happy, you hit done. I'm going to look at it from a corner, and I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to change the nudge to point one, so that way it moves a little bit at a time. And then I'm going to put it on his face where I want. 
And then once again, back to our friend Shift Shrink, I'm gonna shrink it to the size that we like. Notice if I go past, it becomes a frown, but I think that is the measurement I want. And then I can use the arrow keys to get it exactly where I want. Because I've got the work plane, if I could do control down, it sinks in to his face. I think that's pretty sweet, but I wanna change the color. First time we've done this, I'm gonna give him a pink smile. I wanna create a nose as well. I'm gonna do it with scribble, and I'm gonna make it look just like this, just a silly little nose. When I hit done, you'll notice it's not rotated the right way. So I'm gonna first just shrink it, then I'm gonna make sure I look at it from the top because that lets me see this handle. And then if you grab the little side of the arrows, it's easy to rotate 90 degrees. You can also just click that handle and type 90 in the box to get it the way you wanted. I need to do 180 instead. So I'm gonna type 180 or I could have done negative 90. And now you can see I've got a nifty nose. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to move it into place down is just like that and then it needs to be a little smaller so once again we're going to go back to shift squish until we get it to the size we want i think that's pretty cool and i'm going to make it red so it matches the other half of his face so we have just added a character and we've gave him a face let's put the work plane back down on the ground notice i click and let go and then i just go to one of the blue edges to make it back to normal Let's really quickly add an awesome hat. Once again, return to characters. I'm going to bring out the beanie. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it. And then I'm going to use that control up to raise it up, making sure I've got it back on the one millimeter grid so that it moves a little faster. And then this is one of my favorite tricks. You can just pull the black handle and stretch it in one direction at a time to get the perfect size for your little dude. How cool is that? Right now, we're also going to make a second character face, and we're going to do it with happy eyes. So first, find Blanky, bring him out, and set him down. Once again, I'm going to tell you to hold down Shift, and I'm going to shrink him. Now I want you to move down to those awesome shapes collection where we made our cartoon eye. When you bring out the eye, just set it down. Once again, we'll hold shift and squish it to the right size. I'm gonna make Blanky a fun color. So I'm gonna make him a silly blue like he's part Smurf. And now I can bring this eyeball in. And when I do control up, I can raise it into the face. Notice I'm just using the arrow keys to nudge it out where I want. And then I'm gonna zoom in so I can see it better with fit view. You can always change your grid so that you get the movements you want. So I want that tucked back in just a little further. And I'm gonna make it just a tiny bit smaller by holding shift and squishing it. If I look from a corner, you can see it's attached. I'm gonna look from the other corner. And then I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna just use the arrow keys to move it across. That quickly, we have got two fun eyes. If you wanna make them look a little silly, you can find your rotation and you can get them aimed the way you can want. You can make them aimed silly or you can make them look realistic. I'm gonna make my little fella look a little kitty wampus. So he's looking up and out. So it's just kinda of cute and fun. I'm gonna go back to the shapes up top where we had the basic shapes and I'm gonna give him some cute hair real quick with the scribble command. When we bring out the scribble, I'm gonna just draw a little bit of hair, not a lot. And it's just like a little scribbly bit of hair. Nothing perfect, I'm just making it. If I don't like it, I can clear the screen and try again. I'm gonna go with this and I'm gonna hit done. So it looks a little more like hair. Today I'm gonna give him black hair I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees and check it out. If we lift this up with control up or you could use the cone, I'm gonna switch to one millimeter so it moves faster. You can see he has now got a silly but also fun haircut. 
it doesn't look perfect, but when you're just fiddling around, it is workable. All right, friends, here's a fun trick. Click the mouth, then hold shift and click the nose. Notice it says two shapes are selected. We can do control D, and then when you use the arrow keys, they move as a group and you can drop them down. So I'm doing control down arrow and then over. So they are immediately on my new little dude. While they're both still selected, and if you mess that up, just do shift select again. I'm gonna set my grid to super tiny, 0.1 millimeters. And then if I hold shift, I can shrink those so they fit his face. I do need to make sure they are pushed in. So notice I am just using the nudge command to pull them back into his face. So we have now got two fun characters. Once again, friends, you can go into characters and add all the cool hands, mustache, hats. Don't forget there is a page too. There are so many cool things you can add. The last kind of people I wanna show you are in the shape library. When you go to the shape library, notice these people have awesome outfits already added to them. I'm gonna click on figure six. You can see they made her hair out of tiny spheres, which is really cool, but there is still no face. Do not rotate it like I did though, this was silly. You can also hold shift and get them to the appropriate size for what you're creating. Notice sweet shoes, all kinds of cool things you can do to make yours more incredible. All right, friends, so when you're finished, make sure you have at least three characters. I'm gonna show you a trick where you shift right click to arrange them and get a great picture of the characters with the eyes and the faces. Add as many cool things as you can, but when you're done, you need to save a screenshot and you're gonna turn it in. So what we do is hit send to, and then on this little picture of your design, you click the down arrow. It'll probably go to your downloads, you can just save it there and name it with your name. I'm gonna put a two after mine because I've saved it more than once. Once you've got it saved, you need to do this step. Find Google Classroom, find the assignment, click on it and choose the assignment, view the assignment, and then you need to add that file. When you click the word file, it asks where it's from. You can't use recent, instead you have to use upload and you must browse. Slide to the top and find your downloads folder. And there is my people, MDH. I can hit okay. And then make sure you focus on this. You must hit turn it in and turn it in to get your full points. It is due today, so make sure you hit those buttons and I'll start putting the grades in the grade book. If you're not in my classroom, you can also share the cool people that you create. Just remember, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.